So in this video, we're going to talk about how to heal from narcissistically abusive parents. And I want to give you the essence of this video up front. Um, it doesn't really matter whether your parents actually would fit the clinical diagnosis for NPD or not. The fact is that you, by watching this video, you've looked at the definition of narcissism. You've looked at the definition of narcissistic strategies. And that tells me at the very least, if you think your parents are narcissistic or a parent is narcissistic, they're going to be extremely vindictive, extremely envious and jealous of you. They're going to be cruel. They're going to be exploitative. They'll have taken things from you and they will have emotionally abused you. How to heal. This isn't a happy video. It's not a fun video. It's not a nice video. But the essence of what I'll be talking around here is around giving up. Giving up on the idea of that parent or of both your parents ever actually showing up as a parent in your life is essential to your healing and is essential to you moving on. Um, I understand this. I had to go through this process with one of my parents eventually because remaining stuck in a cycle of hope and disappointment, hope and disappointment, hope and disappointment was driving me mad. And the easier thing to do was to just say, okay, this parent is never going to show up as a parent. Biologically, he is my parent. Biologically, I came from him, but in the world, in terms of function of fulfilling the duty of parent, he completely failed. He's always going to fail and I need to give up on that. And it actually made my life an awful lot better. That's healing. I don't think there is any healing in the world that typically happens without grief. Healing usually requires that we let go from something, that we grieve for something and that we experience a certain degree of sadness. I can't give you a way around that. I would suggest that anybody who claims they can give you a way around that is probably not being completely truthful with you. So healing from narcissistically abusive parents in its essence is letting go of the idea that they're ever going to show up as parents and grieving for that loss. I suggest to do that, that you acquire the assistance of a qualified mental health professional, not life coaches, not people on YouTube or Instagram. You're not going to be able to read posts and get better. You're not going to be able to watch YouTube videos and get better. You have to take the time and spend a little bit of money to find a mental health professional, a therapist or a counselor who knows what they're doing, who specializes in the area of grief and family relationships and preferably narcissistic abuse as well, and then spend some time having conversations with them in order for you to process what you're going through. It's a big deal. It's not a little thing. It's a big thing. And you should take the time out of your life to say, okay, this is a period of my life where I dedicated a certain amount of time and effort and money to overcome the fact that really I was stuck in this abusive cycle with one of my parents and it was dramatically affecting the quality of my life. It's well worth taking the time to do that, but please take it seriously. Now, why does this happen? When you're born to narcissistically abusive parents, you can't consent because you're a child and they have total power over you. But what starts to form is a covert contract that operates between you that's rooted in some sort of bait. All narcissistically abusive relationships, emotionally abusive relationships have to have bait because why else would you go back? Like if you came on this video and I just swore and said, you're an idiot for clicking this video, you know, go away. You, you know, I never want to see you again. You would probably just stop the video and disappear. Why would you come back? You'd be like, oh, I watched one of that guy's videos. It was terrible. I hated that. I'm not going through that experience again. Why would you do it? Well, if you had a reason to do it, even if I was being abusive, you would. If there was something within the videos, like, uh, I don't know, there's something that you particularly needed to get from within these videos in order to live your life, you would put up with all of the abuse. There'd be a bait there. Why do we put up with abuse from narcissistic parents? Because the bait is, I could win the love of my mother. I could win the love of my father. As a child who's now grown into an adult human being, what is more powerful than your creator's love? They're gods to children. They are gods to us. Your mother's love, your father's love, your mother and father's validation, their approval, their support. If you're watching this video and you receive those things, you're blessed. Many of us didn't. Instead of getting validation, love, approval, and support, we got abuse. We got exploitation, 
For some of us, the abuse was violent. For some of us, the abuse was sexual. And it does massive damage because that should have been a source of love and support. And in fact, it was a source of evil and chaos. It's very, very difficult to overcome, which is why I'm heavily advocating in this video that people who are struggling with this issue find a therapist, find a counselor, go through a few, find somebody that you can really get on with that you would like to do this kind of work with and learn how to grieve for what's being lost. The covert contract is formed on the basis of the bait. And then once the covert contract is formed on the basis of that bait, the bait being, um, I can win my mother's love, I can win my father's love, and then they, she will become a mother, he will become a father. Then what happens is you plunge into an abusive relationship with them that's best understood in accordance with the work of um, a Dutch psychoanalyst called Sander as a shared fantasy. You're then engaged in a type of communication with them that creates a little world that you live inside of. It's a shared fantasy. You have shared goals, shared coordinates, a shared narrative about what that relationship is and isn't. The only relationship with a mother or a father that you've ever known is the shared fantasy relationship you've had with your own mother or father, right? That makes, that's common sense, right? That means you don't know, you couldn't possibly know, as I couldn't possibly know, from your subjective point of view, solipsistically, what a normal relationship with a mother or father looks like, what a non-abusive relationship with a mother or father looks like or feels like. So then the job that we have is to destroy this shared fantasy because effectively now you're living inside of a world of illusion. You're living inside of a simulation, a matrix style simulation that that parent has plunged you into and is effectively exploiting you and enslaving you from that point of view to give themselves narcissistic supply for life. There are no moral boundaries with these people. There's no moral boundaries with this psychological personality type. So even if they can see that it's making you suffer, that it's making you physically sick, which it often does, that it's giving you a lower quality of life, they don't care because they're all about themselves. And even the destruction of their own children doesn't move them to change their ways. If you don't heal this shared fantasy, even if you move country and never see them again, even if they die, it still continues. You carry your mother and father within you as introjects. You carry the mother and father within you and the shared fantasy of your relationship with your mother, your relationship with your father, if they were narcissistically abusive, forever, unless you do this work. I have a course that helps people overcome narcissistically abusive relationships in work environments, in romantic relationships, and in family units. The course, if you get it, is called Unplug from the Matrix of Narcissistic Abuse. If you do choose to work with a therapist or counselor, have the therapist or counselor contact us and we will give them access to the course so they can see exactly what you're doing and you can work with them. If your therapist or counselor has a question about the work that I've offered you or they have a suggestion for other exercises or what we can do, they have a direct line to me and I can change the course or moderate the course in accordance with what your therapist or counselor suggests or asks for. Any clarity you need, they can come straight to me. If you're interested, the course is called Unplug from the Matrix of Narcissistic Abuse. It's available now from richardgrannon.com via this link down here. Sorry the video is a little bit of a downer, but nevertheless, I thank you for your time and for your attention, and I look forward to speaking to you again very soon. Hello folks, just to let you know, we now have a new course out. It's finally finished. It's called Unplug from the Matrix of Narcissistic Abuse and it's available from richardgrannon.com. Just hit this link right here and you can go get it.